in Westfield? No. Just picked up something to do with Westfield. That's where I thought I was. Um, there's no one there that's got a contact with Westfield, is there? Sorry? Oh. Um, could they be relation through your father? Yes. Because it's your father that is here. Do you understand that? Yes. And um, they're talking to me about Westfield. Yes. And I felt that it should have a link with you. Do you remember a family named Cook? Yes. Mm. Because there is someone here that wishes to be remembered to you with the name of Cook. Could your second initial C belong to your father? Could it be your father's initial? No, a mother's. Oh, mother's. Your, mo your mother's? Yes. Oh, well, I felt it was to do with the parents. I can get away with it like that, can't I? <laughs> uh, but... That's what I got, you see, here. And I, someone was trying to get a contact with me, and as they were doing so, they told me to go to the second initial. Do you understand that? Yes. And um, they had met Mr. Legg on the other side. Okay. Do you remember Mr. Legg? The name, the name is familiar. Yes. You knew a Mrs. Legg, didn't you? Yes. Yes. And her husband had passed over, hadn't he? Yes. Yeah, well, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> because that's the one I had. <laughs> and uh, as I'm talking about this man, I, I feel this may be going back over 30 years with you. Yes. Could that be correct? Yes. Because I feel that I have to uh, go back. There is a contact to do with your father and uh, your mother, but I don't feel the contact is where you're living now. You must have moved away from your family. Yes, indeed. Yes. Because... I don't feel there were a lot of you. Well, I mean, I don't mean a lot of you, the body. <laughs> a lot of the family. No. And I think that you moved away because you felt you had to move away. Is that correct? Wasn't this to do with your early beginnings of life? Uh, no, I moved away because of business. Well, all right, let me have that, you know. I'm not far off. <laughs> Nevertheless, <laughs> that's what's coming through here. And I feel that they wish me to... Uh, oh, they've told me, sir, um, that I have to go to where you are, or where you once lived, but it seems quite a long time ago. Um, and... Oh, that's it. They've just told me, sir, you are the Westfield. I originally came from Westfield Close. Oh, well, there we are. Yeah. And, sir, you left there um, because you needed something different. And you are a person uh, that has to be doing things. Is this right? Yes. Yes. Does your wife get a bit fed up on it, do you think? Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, because I hear a voice say, you're never there to do various things, but you can always find you doing something that you've no need to do, but you do. Isn't that what you're saying? <laughs> anyway, do you understand it in that way? Yes, I do, yes. Well, good. <laughs> uh, because I happen to have a lady here that must be your mother-in-law. Yes. That's passed over, I mean. Yes. Pardon? Yes. Well, she's here, and uh, would she be a person, sir, um, that looked at things very seriously. Do you know what I mean by that? Yes. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, because she's looking at you and she says, well, he's done better than I thought he was going to be. <laughs> so I think she's taken to you a lot now, but I think she was careful before. 
Could you Possib accept it in that way? Possibly, yes. Yes. Well, I have to tell you that. That's the way it's coming through. <laughs> and uh, for some reason there, she's brought you... Uh, why have you brought him flowers? She's brought you flowers? She's brought you flowers. I mean, I would have thought fruits, but nevertheless, mm -hmm. she's brought flowers. And she's brought them here because she said, you love to have everything neat and colourful. Is that correct? That's true, yes. yes. And you love flowers yourself. Now, come on, be honest. I do, yes. That's yes. right. And you love to see them in the garden, but you love to have them around the place as well. I do. And you like a little pot here and a little pot there <laughs> just to brighten things up. Now, is that correct? That's true, yes. That's right. Mm. Well, now, that's why they've come to see you. And uh, this, oh, you knew a man by the name of Prophet. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't catch the name. Prophet. Prosser. No, Prophet. Proctor? No. No. Prophet. Prophet. No, I can't recall the name. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Just think about it, because I get that name there very clearly. And um, I am told, sir, uh, here, that you once lived in a house where you went off a main road into a, 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 a place that you couldn't go through, you had to come back again. That's Westfield Close, yes. Oh, there. But it was off a main road. It was, yes. Yes. And um, you did that. And um, you went the left side for your place rather than the right. Correct. Yes. Because if you went the left side, sir, there were a few more houses on that side than there were on the other side. Yes. And altogether, there probably were about ten houses. Yes, about that, right, yes, sir. That's what I see. <laughs> and that's 30 years ago, isn't it? It is, yes. That's yes, right, you see it now. So you see, it hasn't gone. So therefore, sir, oh, and I have something else, some very good news to tell you. And that is, um, you're through the woods now. You're, you're through the woods, out of the woods. Oh, you're out of the wood now. And uh, I have to tell you uh, that you know you'll never retire, don't you? <laughs> I've already retired, yes. <laughs> well, and you're, you're doing as much work, aren't you, now, in various ways you did before. Very much so, yes. That's it. You'll never retire. <laughs> There'll always be a lot to do. And they wanted me to pass that on. I've just asked them if they can give me a house that's, and describe it to me or let me see it. And all I can see is house with a garden at the front and I can see lovely um, blossom on a tree at the front of the house. Yes, cherry, cherry trees there in the front are. garden. I can see it and I can see a number on a gate and it's number six. Correct. There we are. 